Hi, I'm Phil Layla, Consulting Director, STL Partners. This is a short video that's going to respond to some questions that were asked of us following our study of the impact on 5G on carbon emissions from mobile networks. The point that was raised and um, we've been asked to address here is what's known as the Jevons Paradox. What this is, is um, when you reduce the price of a service to a certain degree, you actually increase demand for the service. Um, so what this Jevons Paradox is stating is it's all well and good you having a more and more efficient network that can deliver more and more data at a lower cost. But what if all that does is to encourage more users to use the service and therefore get you back to where you're started? Let's illustrate it with this example. On the left, we have a traditional light bulb. On the right, we have a low energy bulb, light bulb. What the Jevons paradox states is that if you make it so much cheaper to use uh, the lighting with a low energy light bulb, you actually encourage people to add more lights or leave the lights on longer to the point that they end up consuming more energy than they would have done otherwise with a traditional light bulb. But is that really what happens? Well, the evidence is not at all. The evidence is that people do not dramatically change their behavior um, in response to prices. We don't just all leave our lights on. We don't suddenly buy loads of lights. The fact is that there is a significant permanent effect. And the Jevons, although it's a nice theoretical construct, isn't held up by the evidence. In practice, we don't do that. And it remains much more efficient to have the low energy light bulb. So you could counter that light bulbs may be an interesting example but that isn't necessarily the same when it comes to telecoms and we have seen an inexorable rise as people consume higher and higher definition more and more data and with every generation of technology um, more data is made available so you could argue it's different when it comes to data and, and to mobile services i agree there is a difference between mobile broadband and lights. But what's driving that demand isn't just the network. It's the devices, it's the screens, it's the content, and it's the applications. And they will continue regardless of the underlying network. That demand and the way that that demand's been driven is gonna happen anyway. So I think that true, there is an extent of the German paradox, but nowhere near as much as those who were proposing it um, would like us to think. In summary, um, the Jevons paradox certainly isn't an effect that overwhelms the benefits that could be accrued by more energy efficiency networks that 5G brings. Um, but nonetheless, operators do have a responsibility to um, make their networks as efficient as possible. And they also have a responsibility to price their services in a way that doesn't encourage runaway demand. So there is a responsibility there to reflect at least the cost, but the environmental impacts of energy consumption within their pricing. Well, that was a two minute overview in response to that question. Um, there are some other questions that you can go and check out on the site. In the meanwhile, if there's anything else you want to know, particularly about our current research looking into the impact that 5G can do to help the renewables industry, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks for listening.